Hi everyone, it's Persephone here. You can't see me in this video. This is, I'm really excited about this video because it is the first in a series that I intend to do, looking at each of the tarot cards and looking at them. So right here you can see I have two very traditional depictions of the fool. We have, uh, this is the fool in a Marseille style deck that is uh, Tarot de Maria Celia. And then we have the fool here from the Centennial edition of the Rider Waite Smith. So underneath I have some depictions of the fool that are very different. And so what I would like to do in this series is I will be picking three or four cards from different decks that I think really have something unique to say about that particular card or the way the artist chose to portray it really drives home something about the meaning behind that card and hopefully you'll see what I mean once we get started. So it is my intention to do a whole series of these. This is the first so we'll see how it goes. So yeah we are looking at today we are looking at the full. And so what I'm going to do is, hopefully this will work here, I'm going to remove these. And what we have underneath are the three that I have chosen that I think have something special to contribute to our conversation about the fool. So the first one here is the fool from... The Wild Unknown. Now, this is my absolute, I don't know, at least at this point, it is my favorite Fool card. Now, all of the cards that I choose um, in this series won't necessarily be my favorite cards. Uh, it's more about uh, what, the, what I think the card has to say um, about what it's representing. But this happens to be one of my favorites because of that. Um, the fool. So we saw here, this is probably, you know, this is the fool that everyone is probably the most familiar with, that everyone recognizes as the fool. And then <clears throat> we have these here. So this first one from the wild unknown. I just think that little chick standing on a branch and you can see it's reaching out one of its little feet just getting ready to take that leap of faith, right? It doesn't know if its wings are going to carry it, right? If it really can fly. Um, it has no experience with flying. Um, everything is new. The entire world is new. This bird has never left that branch. Like, there, it's just... Oh my gosh, such a beautiful, perfect... Uh, depiction of the fool in that sense of newness, that lack of experience, that leap of faith, um, stepping into the unknown. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then um, I'm going to jump over the middle one and we're going to come over here to the fool from the Sassari Bito. Very different, very, very different, right? We've got we've got this old man with a long beard. Uh, he's naked, and you can see the both of these fools, right? Um, the second and third are both naked, and that is no coincidence because it's that that nakedness, that that rawness, that um, that innocence, right? And the reason that I love this fool here from the Sassari Bido is because I really think that it shows us that aspect of the fool that is, that has to do with beginner's mind. And that is something that has nothing to do with how old we are, right? At any point in life, we can be approaching life. We can be approaching a topic that we've had 20 years of experience with, whatever it is, we can approach that 
with beginner's mind, right? Come to it recognizing that we don't have all the answers and be completely open to learning something new. Um, so I feel like we see that having this old man in the fool and also just this sense of this really carefree, you know, I think of that term, uh, dance like like nobody's watching. Um, it's that really carefree spirit of the fool. Um, and I just, I just love this, the raw, the, the nakedness, the carefreeness, and that it is an old man. And then in the middle, I chose the fool from uh, the tarot oracle, which is strictly speaking is not a tarot tarot deck because it is called the tarot oracle because it's missing the um, the court cards. But still, everything else is it's a tarot deck. So, and I and I love this fool. It's very simple. Uh, I don't typically go for um, keywords, but um, you know, uh, every every once in a dozen or two decks, I'm okay with a deck with keywords. But this one, it says spontaneity and taking chances, which are absolutely part of what the fool is about. I love that she's naked and I love this sense of just charging forward and the sense of, and again, with the nakedness, it's that, um, it's just that openness, that innocence, that uh, naivete uh, that is inherent in that nakedness. Um, the in the way that she's moving forward, again, we see that sense of just sort of taking a leap of faith. All of these cards, we see in them this idea of um, potential. Um, embarking on a journey of self-discovery, that's a big piece of of the fool and I think you know we definitely I think that's really obvious with the first one with the little bird um very much and we we also have that sense of journey I see that in the second one from the oracle tarot um and I I feel like the the saucer Ibido fool is it's about the aspect of the fool that is kind of what we aspire to in the spiritual life, right? Because part of the fool, it's it's this sort of source energy. And we have here, we have this idea of, you know, really on a spiritual level, you know, we come into this world as, you know, a manifestation of source, of the divine, of the Tao, of, you know, whatever language you use. And that's what we come into the world as that embarking on a journey, right, of self-discovery, of discovery of the world. It's um, <laughs> rediscovery for source. Um, and then we have all the way over here, it's sort of, and, and we see this with, you know, some decks, a lot of decks put the fool as the very first card, um, some, uh, number it zero, but some don't give it a number. Some put the fool at the end of the majors and some say the fool really doesn't belong in any particular order of it. Um, and it's sort of this, you know, this, this full circle, of coming back around the the goal of life to come back around to that sense of you know who we are in source um sort of stripping away the the ego um getting back to a sense of of non-duality of no self um Really, really love it. Really love it. And then I, I did also pick up a fourth card. And this is the Fool from the Shemone, Kaimone. I don't know how you really say it. Um, this one, I really, I wanted to include this one. Let me move this one out of here. I'm going to put this here. I wanted to include this one because... 
This deck is, it's a very beautiful, colorful, watercolor deck. But the Fool is, is black and white. It's black line with no color, right? It's just this really beautiful visual representation of that sort of emptiness of the Fool ready to acquire the color of life, right, um, through the journey that the fool is embarking on. So I thought that was a really unique uh, visual perspective on the fool. So I don't think I have anything more to say about these particular cards. I'm, I'm not exactly trying to cover, you know, every single aspect of the meanings of the cards because... Um, you know, there's so much, there are so many layers and there's so much depth and so many directions you can go um, with every single card in the deck. So I'm not trying, this is not an attempt to be a comprehensive teaching on, you know, the full meanings of every card, but hopefully this gives you a taste, um, you know, if you're new to the tarot, if you're starting out, and even if you're not, you know, um, just a little bit of different perspectives on how to see a card, different images. I find that different images for cards really can, they, they spark, they spark new and different understandings for me. So I really love that about it. Um, and also just kind of, you know, showing you, uh, you know, different representations, different decks, giving you an idea of, you know, what's out there, all of that kind of stuff. So uh, let me know, let me know your thoughts. And if you see anything uh, in these cards, you know, that I didn't mention, um, you know, what are some unique uh, perspectives on the fool that uh, that you really like that you feel have something special to say um, about the meaning of this card and let me know if this is something that you like seeing and if you do want to see this full series and uh, yeah and I'll keep doing it so have a lovely day night whatever it is for you my friends and I will See you again next time.